Hi, this is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In the last video we found that the integer 42 is represented in binary as 00101010 and in hexadecimal it's represented as the digits 2a. It turns out that this sequence of bits or this 2a um, representation can be used for more than just integers in Python programs in fact in programs in general. So um, if we look here this is the this is what's called the ASCII uh, table. Um, the AS, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It is a standard that has been around for a long time for representing characters on the that appear on the screen uh, on your computer. And uh, the number 42, the integer 42, has a character version or a character representation of itself within this ASCII code as well. And in fact, if we look right here, uh, we find that uh, the number 42 right here, or 2a as a hexadecimal, in ASCII represents the character uh, star there, the uh, star character. So um, when we are looking at the bits 00101010 in the computer, how would we tell whether it is an integer that we are looking at or it is the character star that we are looking at? It turns out that we have no way by looking at the bits in the computer, if we were actually able to look at the bits in memory, there is no way for us to look at those bits and determine whether it is the integer 42 or whether it is the star character. So in our Python programs that we write, we have to have some way of indicating what the type of the value is, how we wish for those bits to be interpreted. So you can't look at the bits and say, how they're supposed to be interpreted, but you can, as a programmer, say how you want those bits interpreted. You can tell Python how you want them interpreted. So in the Python shell here, we have basically a, a little calculator that we can use. Um, Python is somewhat like a calculator, and I can type things into this calculator and see what their results are. So for example, I can type in 42 and see that it it uh, echoes back to me that 42 is, is an integer and is a number there. If I type a quote and an asterisk and a quote, it echoes back to me that I have the asterisk there, the star character. So 42 um, is represented as 0010, uh, 00101010 and star is represented the same way. So if I were to go and look in memory at both of these, this 42 and this star that I have typed here, I would see the same sequence of bits for either one of them. But we have told Python here how we wish those bits to be interpreted by typing the number 42 so that we wish for it to be represented as an integer, or typing a quote and a star and a quote to say that we wish for the, that sequence of bits to be represented or to, to represent the star character. Again, in Python, we can tell Python how we wish a sequence of bits to be interpreted by how we write uh, our representation. Um, it turns out that we can also represent the number 42 as a real number. So if I type 42.0, that's a real number. And so now I have three different types here. I have the integer 42, I have the star character, and I have the real number 42. Now it turns out this real number 42 is represented differently in the computer, so this is not represented as 00101010. It has a different sequence of bits. But these first two do have the same sequence of bits and we're telling Python to interpret those sequence of bits differently. So in subsequent videos that we, that we watch here and in subsequent reading that you do in the textbook that goes along with these videos, types are very important. You need to pay attention to what types are and you need to be very careful about which type of value you're working with at any point in time within a Python program so that you understand the results that you get when you start uh, doing arithmetic with uh, 
with values in your Python programs.